feel, feel free And I just wanna be, be me Yeah, I just wanna go so crazy I just wanna be a freak, yeah I just wanna rise to the top Yeah, I just wanna go reach the peak So I've been really well focused on success Hey, y'all will see, yeah You will see that I will get it Cause I'm really focused, man, I make it with the rap And I just follow my path, I just follow my passion To me, this is what's precious, yeah In my soul, man, I can feel it So every single verse, man, I just gotta go and kill it Man, I gotta be the kid, I could be the guy Taking you out of could be Hello guys and welcome to a new video first of all for everyone who loved Alcatraz as much as I did don't worry it will be back on the 10th of April so less than a month from now second of all I know many of you guys are confused about the recent update with all the changes they made I'm also confused honestly something feels off about this update so anyway I'll be posting a separate video on that explaining everything you need to know as well as a video on the best guns in this season but both of these videos will take some time because they involve a lot of testing and editing so I decided to post one of the games I played for now it's not the best game but it had decent action and it's also a chance for me to talk briefly about some of the changes they made just another day in random squads games you know it's rare to get everyone to land together I believe these two landed on practice range just to drive the trucks but at least I got one with me and we can help each other if one of us goes down The AS Val, one of the newest additions to the game, honestly it feels so powerful and even though it's an assault rifle, I suggest using it as an SMG for close range only, because it has fast fire rate and high recoil. Another gun that was highly affected by the update buffs is the Type 25. I always loved using this gun and it used to shred at close range, but they nerfed it because everyone was using it on MP mode. Now I can say that it's 80% back, it's more accurate and easy to control, but the damage is still not there compared to other guns like the AK-47. Then of course we have the legend himself, the AK-47, and after playing around 15 games, and even with the nerves, I think it still remains the best gun in the game. But this is just my first impression. As I mentioned in the start of the video, I will be testing all of the ground guns and I'll make separate video for that and I'll confirm if it's the best or not. Ugh! <gasps> 
The next mission was to collect my teammate dog tags, but number four did the job with the help of his truck. That guy really loves his truck and he's been driving it for almost the entire game. So now that I know my teammates are safe, I started cleaning up the area where they got killed. My teammate went down in the zone and this time I decided not to help him. In case you guys don't know, the last revived flight leaves earlier this season compared to last season. That's why my teammate died right away. And that's why I didn't help him because there wasn't enough time to get his dog tag and scan it. And I would've ended up wasting my time and health. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.